this next person uh first of all the first person was on instagram that asked me that person from the last video was was uh was a uh, cat k-a-t-t four 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 one uh, this guy right here is Ariel underscore G underscore Nas Kimento. I don't I don't even know if I said that right, but it is what it is. His question is how do I how do I how do I honestly what am I doing right here? I don't, I don't understand what's happening. Oh, his question is TB. What are the top five restaurants in the country, and who better to ask? than an actual trucker who drives the whole country, right? All right, so these are my top five restaurants for the United States from a trucker. Stay tuned, don't do drugs. My top five restaurants in the country. I would have to say my number one restaurant in the country is Waffle House. I'm sorry. I know it's probably not a five-star restaurant, but if it's from my opinion right now, my opinion is, um, is Waffle House. I love Waffle House. Uh, that would be my number one. Number one, they're always open. They're, 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 uh, the food has a, a relatively same quality level. Um, it's lots of cheese. There's bacon. What else for the food group do you need but bacon? Um, it's it's um, uh, it's everywhere on the east and southern quarter. <laughs> it's everywhere. Um, uh, 24 hours a day. Um, the, it's fairly friendly when you go in there. It's cheap. It just fits. You know, <laughs> it fits. Quick, quick sidebar for Waffle House, something I need you to do. Waffle House, you should make it mandatory to fit, to have truck parking at every Waffle House in America. That should be your business plan. You'll thank me later. Or, how about y'all kick all the bull crap out of the trucking stop, truck stops and put Waffle House in the truck stop? I'm just saying. But number one, what, what, yeah, it would, it would have to be, um, it would have to be Waffle House. It would have to be Waffle House, definitely. Um, I just love Waffle House, dude. I, I mean, I, I don't know what else I can say about Waffle House. My favorite thing to get there is the uh, is the uh, Texas the, uh, Philly cheesesteak melt and the Texas patty melt. Onions, bacon, sometimes you can do, do double meat. Oh, double meat. Double meat. Um, and I get that, grits and a waffle. Oh my God! And when you down, when you down south like Mississippi or something like that, they sweet tea, that diabetes tea. Oh my God! God. I'll be ready to die, but that definitely is my number one restaurant. Uh, number two, what would number two be? Um, gosh, this is such a hard situation, man. Uh, number two. You know, I did this backwards. I'm realizing that now, but bear with me. I'm just starting these other videos. Number two. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I think number two. See, because it's really about accessibility here. You know, this is about accessibility all over the country. Like, you know, I could easily go in here and say something like, oh, Ruth Press, Benny Hamas, and all that stuff, but that's not accessible to us. So it's like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be realistic with this. With this. The best, I think, number two would have to be Outback Steakhouse. And let me tell you why. Outback Steakhouse is because no one knows the feeling of when you're driving a semi-truck, you had a bad day. I mean, your day sucked balls. Like, it sucked. Nothing went right. Your APU went out. You're hot. You got under boob sweat. You couldn't get a shower. So you smell like butt cheese. You're just angry. Your DM's on your back. You're pissed off at him. Your old lady's BSing on the text messages. Ah! You're just angry. It's one of those days where nothing went right. And there's nowhere to park. And you steal some parking in a Walmart. And then when you park in the Walmart, you look up from the rebirth and the re-education. You look up and that Walmart has an Outback Steakhouse in the front corner of their parking lot. <laughs> you
you're going. <laughs> like, oh, that's happening. You close the door. You lock your door. You walk inside angry. You open the door to go inside of the Outback Steakhouse. And you smell the food. Oh, the blooming onion, honestly. Oh. And the little girl comes up to you. And the little, she's not a girl, she's a grown woman, obviously. But just the little young chick comes up to you and is like, Are you sitting by yourself? And you're just like, Bleh. Bleh. And you sit down. And you can get that chocolate lava cake, or you ask them, you know, give me the the double, the 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 the, the, the two lobster tails and a steak. Oh my God, and the macaroni and cheese, and the, and they bring that brown bread, and you're starving, you couldn't eat nowhere, you've been chewing on gum all day, and it's just like ah, out that steakhouse. Do you understand? Do you understand? Outback Steakhouse would have to be two. Um, yeah, I got, I got a little personal and weird with Nine Mile Steakhouse, but it, it's, it's definitely how I feel. Number two, I mean, number three, I'm going to keep track this time, guys. Number three would definitely have to be uh, 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 mm, this is a rough one, dude. Number three. Number three. Oh, oh, okay. First of all, you ain't you ain't in the streets unless you know about this spot. Are you not of a certain uh, trucking milieu? Okay. Um, sometimes number three would have to be when when it usually you get to number three when you go to a place you drop a load or it's or it's from a reefer in my van, guys. You know you drop the trailer and it's like yo, you drop the trailer, you got to go back outside of the uh, of the gate while we load it and we'll call you back in, which gives you the freedom to be something that all truckers love, which is what I call Bob Tizzy. But actually, it's when you're bobtailing, and when you're bobtailing, you can go to all the restaurants because you're freaking bobtailing. And, and and one of these places you get to go to that you never can fit at is a Panera Bread would have to be number three. I don't even know if that's considered a restaurant or just a, a coffee shop. But man, and I'm going to tell you what you go do. You pull up, you park your joint sideways, the biddies is looking at you, and you look at them like, what you thinking? I'm getting money out there. And you keep walking in, and you bust open the door. Boom! You walk up to the lady, you look her square in the face, and I'm going to tell you what to order. Look at it like this. Here. Give me a chicken Alfredo bowl. You want it full? Yes, I want it a full bowl. Big bowl. I want a baguette. I want that chocolate brownie. And I either want that orange juice that's freshly squeezed, or I want a sweet tea. Or a cappuccino. And to top all that off with all that extra bread, if you can scratch the brownie, give me that weirdly shaped dry cinnamon bun that somehow still tastes delicious. You walk off. They give you the little square thing. You sip in on your thing. Forget about it. It comes, and you just oh, <sighs> oh my god. Yes, yes. The the, the Bob Tizzy hitting the Panera. I almost have to do a best restaurants when you Bob Tizzy. Cause, Cause, your restaurant choice when you Bob Tizzy is completely different when you got a trailer. So that's I'm not gonna do this right now. Forget about it. We'll talk about that later. Um, number four. Oh my God, number four. What is number four? Because they think, oh, why is it so serious? Truckers take food seriously. Like the comments. This is not a joke. This is real life, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this is for 2020 because I could I could change on this honestly. Mm. No, no, that can't be honestly. No. Ah, they're gonna be mad at me for saying this. They're gonna be mad at me for saying this. Uh, it would have to get it back to the truck stops and just as all over. Um, I would have to say I would have to say four is is is, is Iron Skillet, man. And I know, calm down, Jingle. Calm down, but 
Iron Skillet has ended your day well for the past 40 years, maybe. I don't know exactly how long Iron Skillet has been out. Someone tell me. But, you know, you can always go and sit down, have a good sit-down meal, get yourself a sirloin steak and some whatever or, or a salad bar. And sometimes, you you know, you really – and I don't – I haven't really realized how much I've missed Iron Skillet until they don't allow us to sit down and eat no more. I miss it, dude. I, miss, I do. You know, when I travel in a car, I still stop at Iron Skillet. They're like – I know what I'm getting. I know what to expect. So I, I, I have to be four would be that. And just to be fair to Flying J, I would have to throw Huddle House. Because Huddle House is kind of a Waffle House, but the consistency is different. See, the consistency is not the same. So it's like, it's, I can't, I don't know. Someone tell me why, why I feel weird about Huddle House. Someone tell me why, the, the, the Waffle House and Huddle House thing. Someone give me some information on that in the comments. Because for some reason, I feel like it's, it's like a curl that's not quite right. Like it just ain't quite went over. So, you know, it would have to be uh, between Huddle House and Denny's. I'll probably pick Huddle House. So those are my five favorite restaurants to hit as a trucker in the U.S., in the United States of America, home of the free. Don't do drugs. Go to my Instagram so you can post your question for a video like this, at Trucker Brown. I don't know why this, this feels like it's more of a defined thing. I don't know why I feel, I feel good doing that. I'm Audi 5000. <laughs>